I really like this map. Actually, at least what I've seen so far. I think it's very nice. Actually going to start out with the electric head here. This will make him not want to go mechanicals, which I want to because I might go Evo 2.0. Evo 2.0 is of course good here with all of these negative tiles. You can very easily start pushing enemies into them and like getting a bunch of extra value out of your stuff. So he's just doing a standard brick this opener. Hmm. I think I will match that. But what more do I want to do though? The question here. Maybe just nothing? I think I'm gonna save two keys here. I can't really take this anyway. And I don't want to send anything here because it's just going to die. If in the, even if I put Boomer here, he can use the Nocculus and hit it twice. Then put a one key here and kill it to be pulled in there. Same thing with Betula, he can just hit it once and then hit it with the one key and move the Nocculus up here. I think Repeller is very good if you're playing defensive here too. And like put it up over here and just start hitting stuff. That's probably a smart response. I think... Do I have my Paschetti labeled? I don't think I do. No, not not enough that it's worth it at all. Let me take this. Yeah, he can't do anything against that, really. Actually, put them like this. What do I want to do here? Probably not much that I can do. To that thing. Powell has a lock, right? Yeah, it definitely does. Maybe I just go for my hero and hit it. Bit of a weird thing. I'm just gonna hit it once with Evo to make him move away. There were a lot of different option that, options there, I'm not sure if that was the correct one. One, one, on the two down. Here's the repeller I was talking about, or not, maybe. It's a very good defensive tool here. Of course, it's easy to break if you have a buffer like Gonzo Bunzo or Plus Buff, a boss. Then you can just blow it up, but most players don't have both of those. You have to be pretty lucky. I have spent money, of course. The Quagmire here in, in response to a Grave Digger is pretty good. Probably means you have to capture this when you're Grave Diggering it as the... Like when you're the second person gra using Grave Digger. You kind of m have to put a one key there maybe. Or Quagmire may just go there. Then again if he moves away I can also put my Quagmire there. So it's not that big a deal. Sucky as the defense here. Is that enough to threaten me? 1000. Probably enough to threaten me. 
Why do I want to break here though? Not sure. I'm just gonna go do the exact same thing that he just did. Then we're going to go over here and we can break this open. It goes here, we can still easily kill it. So there's no real reason to defend this. It doesn't have enough pressure down here to me for me to keep my units down there. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I wonder if I should sacrifice this. I think I should probably wait a turn or two more before I throw it away so I can actually defend it. Otherwise he might just retake it and force me to go back. You don't really want. Yeah, Craig Meyer's going up here to capture it now. Bad move there, would have just lost it for no reason. Last thing, Malik. That's a very strong defender here. Probably means I should move out of this area. Also probably means I shouldn't be breaking the block I was thinking about breaking. I wanted to break this, but that's probably a bad idea now. Maybe I break this. That's better. Saving a bunch of keys here, so we can go for something large. Blastomatic is probably really, really good on this map. It's a large, slow-moving mechanical that has a line attack, which is very useful both here and up here, I think. And it's also just AOE and anti-mix, which you see a lot on this map due to these. Very good, I think. Okay, it's only level 7 that makes it a bit less good, though, but still good. I think. Ideally, you don't want it to be level 7, of course. At least not at this rank. Crush more. But did he want to crush more this? Or this, maybe? Yeah, we have still... We still have matching cooldowns. Is that supposed to threaten this? Don't really know if it deals enough damage that I care. Could even just go hit this actually. But no, then it will just heal up. A sparse here. Which I didn't even notice the first time I was playing on this map. Actually, I think I noticed it like near the end, but I didn't notice it at the beginning because they're all the way out in the corners. this actually die to this attack? Yes, it would. Very easily even. So we are going to move it down here maybe. Like this, I think. Yeah, this would could push if I went boss here. Unless I put it here, of course. Maybe I just want the boss here, actually, where the bomb is. bomb is probably just going to be used for recapturing a panic point here. Not much else to do with it. 
I'm taking a lot of panic points here to deal some hard damage. Force him to move into me, hopefully. Or throw some stuff away. Yeah, that was a given, but it's fine. I couldn't completely block out being hit by a laser here. Would have had to put it up here or something, but then it's not threatening at all. He's probably pushing it into the... Is he not? I think he should push it into the poison here. But maybe he just doesn't want to do that. He wants to save the push. To keep the boss away, maybe. Then he has to recap this, though. But at least consider recapping that. Oh, he's really not recapping that. Hmm. Will this die if I... Yeah, it probably would. I went up and pushed these away here. Like if I did this, I think it would still die, right? Yeah, it definitely would. Also here. The beam is down for a turn here. I can do something like this. Actually, I'm. I think I'm gonna drone you this thing here. Maybe we should keep this here then. Not really a good point for this to stand on, but it's fine. Yeah, that's a worse spot for it to be. Not really sure I like what I'm doing here. But it's fine. I think I should do something like this. Trying to kill him with heart damage here without really interacting with him. obviously gotta kill this yeah that's good because then we are he's sending a bunch of units down here and he can only really take one point down there and that's the point close to him up here if he takes this point i can push him off and retake it if i want to he can't really retake this i mean he can but i'm just going to kill it and then retake it with the quagmire Because I can just snowball it. it goes just out here and hits it. Should be enough. Yeah. It's easily enough. Also think I'm gonna focus the heart here actually. That definitely placed a trap right there, didn't it? Probably. Not that it matters, I'm just gonna all in his heart here. Actually, summon another unit too. Should work out with the with the keys, I believe. The only problem here is that it's a bit hard to position everything. I think. Can I actually push it from here? I don't believe I can, right? No, I wouldn't push it the right way. I want to move this thing away if it's possible. Yeah, this. Maybe if I go here, that will be good. No, that won't. Good. Have to go directly here. Push it away. 
I'm going to do this and probably actually destroy this maybe. No, because then we should have moved this first. A bit of a hard turn to do right here, I think. Have to do this. Could actually hit here instead. Because then we also get to deal damage to his heart, which is the goal here. We have to be a bit fast here, of course. To actually get everything done. Probably just some damage uh, here. Like it more here. Even though it's gonna get beamed, but that's fine. See, it was probably better here. I just didn't want it to be in range of that. Is he killing everything here? I can't actually tell. Beam, doof, doof. A lot of damage, but I'm not sure if he's killing everything still. This is essentially dead by now. But he needs to remove all of these units from his heart, pretty much. He can only summon one thing. Pretty sure he should have, should have used the leap on the on the boss here. That was already dead too. He's still dead right now. With what he did here. I think he could win here actually. If he's moving in the correct way. But he didn't. Actually, is this enough damage? Let's see. He may have won in anyway. No, he did not. That ends the game. Enough damage, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Pretty sure he could have blocked me up here. And won. <laughs> the Quackmire actually ended up being the MVP here. Probably because it tanked so much damage that apparently counts toward being the M MVP, which is why you see some people have Hydra MVPs very easily. You just need to take the damage, hit well like once in your MVP status. Let me just see this turn, if I can find it. Okay, so first off I should have placed the instinct down here I think. Although that would have actually been worse, this is a more direct path. Kind of depends on how you look at it. Both are probably fine. He, I think he did a lot of this wrong. I think he needed to first use the beam here, then hit this once, then jump here, and then block with the quagmire up here, and then kill this with something. Probably. Like, he could have summoned something much bigger than the Jinsting from his vault here, too. Don't know why he summoned a normal Jinsting when he has 9 keys and it's the, like, possibly the final turn here. He should have tried and put two units here so I couldn't attack his heart while also taking this point. If he did that, he would have stabilized. 